All right, so you're thinking about moving to Pinckney, Michigan, and you want to know what it's like to live here. Well, you're in luck. As always, guys, we're here in Pinckney right now. Um, we're going to do the full vlog tour, take you guys around, show you what Pinckney has to offer, take you around some real estate. We're going to try to hit some 300, some 500, and some $800,000 homes, give you an idea of what the suburbs look like here, what the downtown area looks like. And then we're also going to hit some lake properties because Pinckney has a ton of lakes. So if that interests you guys, stick around because we're getting after it right now. Hey, what's going on you guys? My name is Aaron. Just like this on what it's like to live in Brighton and the surrounding area. And today we're in Pinckney. So whether you guys are making a move in one month or one year from now, it doesn't matter. You gotta get a hold of us. We're helping people just like you, 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 and you who are thinking about making that move to the Brighton area. And we wanna help you do just that. So go ahead, give us a call, shoot us a text. All my contact information is in the description below. Super easy to get a hold of us. But let's go take a look at this downtown of Pinckney right now and let's do it. All right, so we're here in Pinckney, Michigan. We have the village of Pinckney, which I'm in right now. So the village of Pinckney is relatively small compared to the overall city of Pinckney. And that's much larger, but the village is where it really all started. So right behind me, we have some restaurants, some shops. Um, there's D10 Entertainment, which is dining and entertainment. Um, there's Pinckney Bakery, Pinckney Nutrition. Um, there's restaurant, Italian restaurants just down here. There's a hardware store. So right behind me also is a memorial park. So they have kids playscapes in there, gazebo, they have barbecues and everything. You can kind of hang out, do your thing in there. Um, really nice to just come down here and just relax with the family. There's a bunch of kids playing over there right now, early in the morning. So great way to just come around, walk downtown. Um, I see a lot of people just walking around, getting some exercise. And that is really, if I could summarize Pinckney, it's all about being laid back here in Pinckney. All right, so we just got the house number one and it is a three bedroom, two bath, and it's got about 1400 square feet. But the community that we're in right now, um, this community is a really large lot. So I really like it. There's about on average, about a half acre to three quarters of an acre. Um, so you got a lot of space, a lot of space for your neighbors, but you still have neighbors. So you're still in a subdivision. There's an HOA, looks like they're pretty lax. People have sheds, people have fences. Um, so this is a good example of you know, the three bedroom, two bath. It's about 1,400 square feet. They got a partially finished basement. Uh, we'll throw some pictures up here. You know, just kind of look around the subdivision. You know, these, these houses are not too close together. Um, there's a little cul-de-sac right here. And, you know, there's enough space for you to do whatever you really want to do and have some privacy. So there's no restrictions on fences. Um, there's no restrictions on, you know, having a shed, stuff like that. You know, we just had an HOA meeting at our, our subdivision the other day, and we were talking about relaxing the, the bylaws. And that's what I think a lot of people hear that these communities were built in like the 90s. So there's not a lot of people out here putting ordinances on, on things. Like people are just generally good people. All right guys, so we're here at house number two. We just popped over into this new development subdivision. Uh, this is a Norfolk build here in Pinckney, Michigan. This is actually Dexter Schools though. So uh, Dexter Schools are fantastic. They're probably 20 to 25 minutes away from here though. Um, so this is on the Northern part of Dexter, uh, but it still is Pinckney. So you have a lot of these style houses back here. So the, the thing I love about this, you know, subdivision back here is it's so peaceful. I mean, we're here in the middle of the day. Um, there is farmland just on either side of this. There's wetlands over here. Um, this is as secluded as it gets. So nobody's really driving past here. Only the people coming into the community are coming back here. So that's what you see from a lot of the subdivisions in Pinckney is they're off the beaten path. So you don't get a lot of through traffic and it's really safe for your kids to go out and play in the streets. 
um, playing the cul-de-sac. And there's a lot of kids here in this neighborhood too. So, you know, neighborhood friends, that's <laughs> growing up, like we had neighborhood friends. We were playing street hockey, um, basketball, football in, in the street. We'd roll our, our basketball into the, our basketball net into the street and, uh, you know, just do pickup games. So, you know, that's this type of neighborhood. You know, we don't see a lot of those anymore in new construction. And I love seeing that, you know, so when we go past all these houses, they're very well maintained, brand new, you can see from this one behind me, really sleek looking house. So if you guys are interested in new construction here in the, the Norfolk subdivision, um, I just talked to the sales manager who is a good friend. There's about five lots left. So there is a walkouts and standard lots available. Um, if you're interested in any of those, get a hold of us because they are going quick and they are gonna be sold out probably within the next couple of months. So Norfolk community here in Pinckney, as you guys can see, beautiful community here. this up here for Pinckney, but I wanted to take you guys to this little private community here first. This little park is um, for residents only. So you have, not only do you have boat slips down here, so if you're not actually on the frontage, um, you can get a boat slip down here. You have access to launch a boat. Um, you got a little beach area over here. You got a kid's playscape. So beautiful area just to come, uh, invite the family out, invite friends over, have a picnic. Um, you know, you can go swimming out here, but this, this lake that we're on, this is Strawberry Lake. So Strawberry Lake is one of the lakes on the Pinckney chain of lakes. Uh, you also have Baseline Lake and Portage Lake and Zuki Lake. And then surrounding the whole entire area, there's tons of other private little lakes. Some are no wake, some are all sports lakes. So whatever you lifestyle you guys want from a lake perspective, there's tons of options here in Pinckney. So I would say this is one of the best lake communities here um, in Pinckney. Uh, Brighton has a lot of them too. Go up to Heartland, we did videos on that. You guys can check those out there. But we're gonna go take a look at this house now. This house is listed at 1.1 million. This is lake frontage. Um, the price points on this lake vary all over the place. I mean, you have old style cottages that haven't been maintained. You got just like any lake community, if you've been familiar with you know lake, lake life for a long time, um, there's old cottages on there that have been in the family for multiple generations and they need a lot of updates. People are knocking homes down and building absolutely beautiful homes on these lakes. Um, there's a couple new constructions going on. I'll get you some some uh, some drive-bys of that as well. But price points can range anywhere from like 400,000 all the way up into 1.2, 1.5. There's even homes on the lake that have nearly $2 million, um, have sold for nearly $2 million. So. You know, there's a lot of cool real estate on here. And as we uh, as we do more videos like this, we're gonna get on the lake. Um, we just haven't been able to this summer because we've been so busy helping all of you guys buy and sell real estate. So we are gonna get on the lake, show you guys all over the lake communities. We'll go up and down the Portage Pinckney chain of lakes. We'll go to Portage Lake, Zuki Lake, Strawberry Lake, uh, Baseline Lake, all those. So you guys can check this out. But if you guys are interested in the lake community, definitely check out the Pinckney Chain of Lakes here in Pinckney because it is one of the best. Okay, so here at house number three right now, um, I actually showed this house. This was for sale last year. Um, I actually showed this house and they've done a heck of a job updating it. So this one's really cool. I'm excited to see what the backside of this looks like when it's all done. But we're coming up on the, uh, the house. This is a four bedroom. Um, you got four garage spaces here, but this one's listed for 1.1 million. So well, you're not paying for um, the house necessarily when you buy a lake house, you are paying for the lake brunch property. There's houses that you would literally tear down that go for $600,000 on this lake. So this one behind me, you know, again, does need some work. Um, the inside needs some updating, but you have a large lot. You got overlooking Strawberry Lake, and this is a great, great example of you know, coming in and you can do a lot with this. So this is close to 3,000 square feet. So you can actually do a lot with this. Um, if you do plan on making some updates, 
I bet you anybody could come in and get this for close to 900K. Um, this has been on the market for a little bit, but I just wanted to give you guys an example of what these homes you know, do look like here on Strawberry Lake. This is a great one. All right, guys, so that's a wrap for Pinckney. If you guys are thinking about moving to Pinckney, Michigan, you guys know what to do. My contact information is in the description below. It doesn't matter if you're moving in one week, one year from now, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. We'll be happy to help you make a smooth move to the Brighton area or Pinckney in this case. And until next time, guys, go enjoy these other videos that we made about the Brighton area, and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.